in history you must have learned about the iron age bronze age and copper age this only tells us that minerals have played a very important role and have been in use since the prehistoric times since then they also have been reserved and at present date they have a high economic value minerals are what we use on a daily basis be it in the colgate that we use in the morning or be it in the breakfast that we have so the milk that we drink contains an important mineral calcium be it the cycle that we are riding in the park or be it the computer that we use in a computer labs in school or the chalk that we used to write on the blackboard and also the copper bottles that we use on a daily basis all of these contain important and valuable minerals now question must be arising in your mind why are we studying minerals or what is the study of minerals called the study of minerals and rocks is called geology so geology can be defined as the scientific study of rocks and minerals that form the earth's surface right and a person who studies these rocks and minerals and help us understand their value or their importance as per their characteristics is called a geologist so geology is the study of rocks and minerals that forms the earth's crust while a person who studies or is involved in the study of geology is called a geologist So before we proceed with our lesson could you help me answer this question a person who studies rocks and minerals is called geographer geologist or a meteorologist yes the correct answer is geologist geologist is the person who studies rocks and minerals now how do we define this mineral so mineral is a naturally occurring inorganic solid right and these have a crystalline structure now why are these inorganic substance because they are not formed by any biological process they are formed by or are a result of geological processes therefore minerals are naturally occurring in organic solids found in the earth's crust and these are formed by geological processes for example gold silver and bauxite these are minerals that we find on the earth's crust and they all are a result of geological processes a while ago i mentioned that geology is the study of minerals and rocks that are present on the earth surface or that forms the earth surface now we have learnt about minerals and understood that they are naturally occurring inorganic solids however we are still to learn about rocks what exactly are rocks and how do we define them to understand that let us consider a plate of mixed noodles i know most of us here love such noodles however our focus of study here is rocks and minerals so how do we relate a plate of mixed noodles with rocks and minerals well we can consider a plate of mixed noodles as rocks while the vegetables and the shrimp added to the mixed noodles can imitate the minerals that we find in rocks by that example i only meant that rocks are generally composed of two or more minerals right or they can also have a large concentration of a particular mineral so just like the plate of mixed noodles rocks contain two or more minerals or a large concentration of a particular mineral so rocks that are rich in a particular mineral are called the ore of that mineral for example ore of gold will help us obtain the mineral gold from that particular ore which only means the ore of gold contains a high concentration of the mineral gold so rocks rich in a particular mineral is called the ore of that mineral 
Now, these mineral ores are extracted from the earth's crust by the process of mining. So, mining helps us obtain or extract these mineral ores from the earth's crust and from these mineral ores we can obtain the minerals that have a high economic value. Now, let us consider two examples. First, let us consider an ink pen. Now, if you have ever used an ink pen, you know it for sure that we are required to refill the pen again and again after it has been used for a certain period of time. So, if the ink is not present in the pen, can we write with the pen? Can the pen be of any use? No. Similarly, if we consider an example of a spectacles or a goggles. So, if we take out the glass of the spectacles or the goggles, is the frame of any use? No, we'll look like a joker, right? Similarly, even the minerals present in a particular rock makes them important or gives them value. So, here is an example of what we just learnt or discussed. So, the iron ore is a mineral ore and it is the primary source of the mineral iron. Now, iron, once extracted from the mineral ore, that is iron ore, it is widely used in many industries, particularly the iron and steel industry, right? So, the presence of iron in the iron ore makes it important and once the mineral is extracted, it can be widely used for various purposes. In this example, the iron extracted from the iron ore is widely used in the iron and steel industry. Another example of the same is aluminium. So, aluminium is another mineral which can be extracted from its ore. And what is the ore? Its ore is bauxite. So, bauxite is the mineral ore of aluminium. Surprisingly, bauxite being a mineral ore of aluminium is itself a mineral. So, from this we can conclude that all ores can be minerals, but all minerals cannot be ores, right? So, in this lesson we were able to understand the meaning of minerals and we also learnt how we can distinguish mineral from rocks. So, while mineral are individual inorganic solids found in the earth's crust, rocks are a composite of two or more minerals or a high concentration of a particular mineral and there it is known as the ore of that mineral. We further learned that iron ores are important and the minerals extracted from the iron ore has a high economic value. In our next lesson, we will be learning about the types of minerals. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock test. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.